So I was asked to read today some verse. So Raja Sundari picked a verse and she decided to take Radharasa Sudanidi verse number 195. It seems that it's a nice connection in the flow of yesterday. Yeah, you make this one. Madaruna Vilo Chanang Kanakata Pakamu Chanang Maha Pranaya Maduri Rasa Vilas Nidyotsukam La Sannava Vayashaya Lalita Bangi Lila Mayam Ridhatat Aham Utahe Kim Api Hemagoram Maha I keep some indescribable golden light that has red intoxicated eyes that destroys the bride of gold that is always eager for very sweet romantic love sports and that is full of lovely, playful gestures and tender age, I keep this indescribable golden light in my heart. Again, I keep some indescribable golden light that has red, intoxicated eyes that destroys the bride of gold that is always eager for very sweet, romantic love sports and that is full of lovely, playful gestures and tender age I keep this golden light in my heart. Meditating on a golden light. Nectar Commentary by Srila Ananda Das Babaji. Tripad experiences the sweetness of the divine couple in his transcendental visions. When they are very close to each other, the divine couple increases the oceans of each other's sweetness. And the hearts of the maidservants float along in all directions on the waves of this ocean. Rupam kim apyani varchyam tano maduyam uchyate uchvalani lamani. When a body is indescribably beautiful, it is called maduya or sweetness. This can only be experienced by an advanced devotee. It cannot be expressed with words. Srila Rupa Goswami has written in Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu 2.5.132 that which transcends the mental conceptions of a human being, which is the cause of great astonishment and which is experienced in the hearts of those who are enlightened by Vishuddha Sattva or pure goodness 
is called rasa. That which transcends the mental conceptions of a human being, which is the cause of great astonishment, and which is experienced in the hearts of those who are enlightened by Vishuddha Sattva or pure goodness is called Rasa. Krishna is sweetness himself, but Sri Vishabhanu's daughter drowns even him in the ocean of her sweetness. Gorobani, can, can I say something or is it too early? Of course, you are all invited. Today I was, today in the morning I was also reading, this is like very good coincidence, I was reading Radha Rasa Sudhanidhi and uh, in the purport Baba is making, uh, just because I heard now this word Rasa, Baba is making a very, very wonderful point about Rasa. He says the sweetness of Radha and Krishna, and especially the sweetness and the attraction to that sweetness of Radhika in Aishwarya above, it, it will conquer Maya, it will conquer illusion. But for the Raganuga devotees, the sweetness of Swamini will not only conquer Maya, this is normal, this is okay. But actually, the sweetness of Radhika will drown the Sataka in Rasa. So I found this very interesting that it is, it is, it is normal that, that when we advance in, in spiritual life, that we can fight Maya and we can conquer Maya. Baba saying conquer illusion. But the bonus and the specialty of Raganuga Bhakti, especially Manjari Baba, is that not only... Uh, can we come over the material urges, but we will be drowned in the ocean of Rasa. And that is the huge difference between Aishwarya Bhav, like Vaidhi Bhakti, and Madhuriya Bhav, Manjari Bhav, in, in, in uh, Raganuga Bhakti. So this is, I found this very sweet, that this, this, this difference is there. This is not, this is what Mahaprabhu came to give, that the, the living entity, he can actually be drowned in the nectar ocean of Rasa, which is actually Ratha Rasa Sutanidi, the nectar ocean of, of Rasa. So this just came to my mind. Sorry. Not sorry, but thank you. I had just this connection with Rasa and Sara. And your Gurudev is explaining this also very nicely. Rasa, Sara. If we change the syllables of Rasa, it will become Sara. And we will be drowned in this Sara, actually. And this is actually what we are looking for. We want. We want to be drowned. And we have the good luck that actually our Gurudev was drowning us in this Sara, and he made it very clear that this Sara is coming from Radhakund to Shyamakund. And we actually are always in this Sara if we just stay in connection. You know, I found this very, very hopeful because for years and years, and years before I met Shila Gurudev and Shila My Gurudev Baba, years and years and years we have been occupied by fighting the material energy. You know, oh, we hate Maya, hate Maya, go against the material energy. But actually Gurudev always says this and Baba never loses one word about that. He, it is the opposite. Raganuga Bhakti. You, you, you have to be drowned in rasa and automatically uh, you can feel that yourself. The more you go into raganuka, bhajan, the more time you invest in the morning time, the less attraction is there. 
But we have been fighting every day. Oh, don't look at woman. Don't look at this. Don't look at that. Fighting Maya. But we have we had no rasa. There was no rasa. And now Gurudev is showing us, and Baba is showing us, and Narayan Maharaj has showed us, and Prabhupada. We have to learn that also Prabhupada, he himself showed us the essence, the sara of everything is that we should not be occupied with fighting the material energy because we will lose. <laughs> we, have no, we have no fighting chance against the material energy. Only by the grace of Swamini and Guru, we have a chance to be, the more we can fill our hearts with rasa, the more automatically. Gurudev always says, correct me, Gurudev, if I'm wrong, but this is what, what, what is there. We have to do that. That Jai Gurudev. He's all mercy of Anandas Baba. Yeah. Krishna is sweetness himself, but Sri Brisha Banu's daughter drowns even him in the ocean of her sweetness. No, the sweetness wasn't. of her love ever increases when she is with him. Rade Rade Gorani. Rade Rade Suniti. And I, I would like to. I first uh, thank uh, Raja Sundari for this beautiful verse. It is so sweet. And I find it so lovingly adding to what we have heard also yesterday in the Croatian class. And I want to jump a little, a few sentences to the beginning. When I read it this morning, I was thinking, wow, this is again the Maha Mantra. And Baba says, when they are very close to each other, I thought, when they are very close to each other, of course, when they are embracing and decorating each other with their beautiful love and Shringa, Rasa. So when they are close to each other, the divine couple increases the oceans of each other's sweetness. So that is also, I thought, wow, this is again Maha Mantra when uh, Radharani is embracing Mohan and he becomes oh, so enchanted. Who is embracing me? And he is also embracing her and then who is looking this this these are the maid servants and they float in this ocean of the waves of their love and i thought wow this is such a sweet uh, uh description of their love and who can who can describe it only the darcy who can see it and not only see, but feel it. They are with them in their embrace. And it's so beautiful that they are floating along in all directions on the waves of this ocean. This is the Bhava Ula Sarati, what Gurudev always loves to, or loves us to explain or understand and feel. This is even more than a sty bath. Sometimes we feel, yes, I want to be a dasi. I want to be a mantari. Yes, yes, I should be like a mantari. But this bhava ula sarati is being together with them and floating on the oceans of their, you know, embrace, and which is the maha mantra. So this was just. I just don't want to interrupt you, but. This was came came to me by the mercy of you Beautiful. this morning. Beautiful. That is the, this is again also said here that the sweetness is ever increasing, and if we are lucky, then also in this understanding 
in Mahamantra and floating in this Mahamantra, we can also increase our service uh, ability or understanding and feelings. Jai Gurudev, thank you. So Niti, that was so wonderful. And if uh, I may, when you said this wonderful point, the closeness and the speciality of the mantra is in that, in that closeness. I, days before, I was also reminded of that. I try to read every morning a little bit when I chant. So the, the, the speciality of the mantra, mantra is, is so, so wonderful. The Baba was describing a pastime when Krishna, Krishna is uh, uh, coming to a Nikunja and Radhika is in Mana. She is rejecting him. She is very much rejecting him and Krishna is very much suffering from that. And he begs to the Manjaris and this and that. And th that, then Baba was saying that the Manjaris and Swamini are so close to each other that Krishna can see the mood of Swamini in the face of the Manjaris. <laughs> I was amazed to read this. Like Gurudev is saying, I read it so many times, but the more you read it, I was like, what? Then it, 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 the, the Manjari came out of the Kuncha and Krishna could immediately see, uh oh, what is going on? What In what mood is Swamini in because of this, tad, tad, this uh, Tadatmika? They are so close that Krishna could see in the face of the Manjari. What is going on with Radhika? Is she happy? Is she sad? Is she angry? So I found this astonishing, you know, this closeness. And we, we have this opportunity now to, to meditate upon that thing. That is really, really, really wonderful. If we were aware all the time in which wonderful position we are, we should actually dance the whole day. Sing and dance and be happy. I would be thrown out of school when I do this. <laughs> <laughs> you try. <laughs> Yat yapi niyamala radhara sat prema darpana tatapi svachata tara bhatik shanikshana amara madoyera nahi vadite avakashe e darpanera age nava nava rupa bashe man madoye radha brema donhe hadakori shanek shane bade donhe ko Donhe keho nahi hari. Chaitanya Charit Amrita. Although the mirror of Radha's true love is spotless, its clearness increases at every moment. There is no end to the increase of my sweetness. But in front of that mirror, it assumes always new forms. My sweetness and Radha's love thus always increase each other and no one suffers defeat. This is the transcendental original, I thought, of the fact that we, our inner feelings, are always mirrored in the outer world, isn't it? What we feel inside, outside it is like a mirror coming to us. So if we are beautiful inside, then the beauty comes also outside towards us. But if we are sad, also sad things are coming to us like this. But on this 
highest level. It's so amazing that because Radharani is always inside of Krishna playing, his sweetness can never end because her ocean is getting greater and greater and greater. Her sweetness is never ending in growing. So that means the mirror of that has to be also endless. And although this mirror is spotless, completely clean, still it increases. This is a very, a really wonderful picture here. Such a lovely, wonderful picture. So maybe Gauravani, if we see the mirror as a picture, you know, sometimes in the movies, in the magical movies, the people can go inside a mirror. <laughs> so I was just imagining that Srimati Radhika, because of her true love, she has this magic that she is increasing the clarity of Krishna about his and her sweetness through which he can understand it at every step. So this mirror goes inside, so to say. It's not a 3D mirror. It's like a multi-dimensional mirror. And sometimes I also feel that it is like a kaleidoscope. I don't know the English word, but there are these playing mirrors. You look inside and there are many crystals in there. And these crystals... These crystals are like forming new pictures. You know that, no? As a child, I love to look in this. So the crystals of the mirror of Srimati Radhika's love for Mohan is helping him to see, you know, in ever fresh feelings of rasa and to experience that. That is what I feel when I hear this uh, mirror example. Because she is showing him through the mirror of her love, she shows him all the nuances of rasa that are possible that he never, never, never could experience by himself, about himself. Yes, and the wonderful thing is no one suffers defeat. And that means it will never end to increase. There is no stop. It will never end to increase. So Krishna's sweetness increases and Radharani's sweetness also increases. It's like the moon who is actually has this influence that the water is coming back more strong it comes back actually also <clears throat> also no one no one at the defeat uh, so devi was just asking that means in the spiritual world no one will 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 lose or will uh, suffer defeat because everything is focused on the divine couple there is no selfish desire there so that then also then ca there can be no defeat if you have no selfish desire how can you be defeated? You know, so the Manjaris are the most selfless persons. So everything is aimed at the pleasure of Swamini and Krishna. So there can never be any defeat. Even Chandravali and Chatila, that is an, there's no defeat. It is no, no loss because they all contribute to the enhancing of the Rasa of Rasa Raja, of the, of, of Radha and Krishna. So a defeat in the spiritual world. Here in the material world, everything is bound to be defeated by old age, death, and you know. But in the spiritual world, the spiritual bliss is never ending. And the more selfless you act and the more selfless you become, the less there is the chance that you just experience defeat. So this is a huge example for the material world that we try to act like good if says love in action in a selfless mood. And then always focus on the lotus feet of the divine couple. There can never be any defeat because the focus is not us, but the focus is them.
Thank you very much. Jai Shirate. Now comes the wonderful thing. Because devotees are selfless, they didn't thought about this. But now, when the devotee experienced this sweetness of this loving couple, his prema also increases. Rati takes shelter of sweetness and so and thus reveals Krishna and so. And when this is experienced, Rati also increases again. Rati takes shelter of sweetness and thus reveals Krishna. And when this is experienced, Rati also increases again. Sripad, in his kinkuri form, has attained the great fortune of tasting that sweetness. And that savour has extended the ocean of his prema. When he sees Srimati's lovely mo movements, he says, Lasanavavaya Shriya Lalita Bangi Lila Mayam. Her tender age is so beautiful and her playful movements are so lovely. I just remember that Anandadas Babaji at one point he is writing about Sadhu Rasa. The tender age of Radharani is described very sweetly. It's just the movement from childhood into, into adolescence. Just in this moment. And this is Saduras. So this tender age is meant here. And all the movements of Radharani are completely fresh now because before she was moving like a child, but now she is moving in another way. Completely fresh, astonishing. First time in this moment that she moves like that. Completely amazing. Her playful movements are so lovely. Vinyasa bangiranganam bruhu vilas manohara sukkumara bhavetyatra lalitam tat udiritam ujvala nilamani. When a tender girl makes playful gestures with her limbs and enchanting movements with her eyebrows. It is called a Lalita Alankara, the emotional ornament named Lalita. When a tender girl makes playful gestures with her limbs and enchanting movements with her eyebrows, this is called a Lalita Alankara. The maidservant sees these lovely moments, uh, movements. <laughs> the maidservant sees these lovely movements in all of Swamini's pastimes.
Srimati is called Mahapranaya Madhuri Rasa Vilasa Ninotsukam. She who is always eager to play very sweet, loving pastimes. Sripat realizes that when he sees the divine couple looking each other in a tight embrace, Sripat realizes that when he sees the divine couple looking each other in a tight embrace. Sri Jiva Goswami says that pranaya creates a sense of non-difference between the two divine lovers, a feeling of oneness in mind, heart, body and intelligence, according to Srila Vishwanath Chakravati Pat. Can you read this again, Gauravaniji? It is so intense. I need to hear this often. From where would you like? When a tender girl or Srimati is called Mahapranaya? Or? Yeah, both good. When a tender girl makes playful gestures with her limbs and enchanting movements with her eyebrows, it is called Lalita Lankara, the emotional ornament named Lalita. The maid servant sees these lovely movements in all of Swamini's pastimes. Srimati is called Mahapranaya Madhuri Rasa Vilasa Nityotsukam. She, who is always eager to play very sweet, loving pastimes. Sripad realizes that when he sees the divine couple looking each other in a tight embrace. Yeah, so we have the uh, Maha Mantra again, if I may connect it to the beginning. And he is, uh, Sripad is seeing this and he sees them locked. They are locked. You know, when somebody is close, it's good. But locked means the embrace is so close that they become one in that embrace. And that is this what Jiva Goswami calls pranai. Gurudev, you explain many times that pranai has many, many levels. It does not only mean the closeness without fear, for example, between a guru and his disciple. It means in that case, and correct me, or if you want to comment on that, that they are so close that they are one. And that means their mind, heart, body, and intelligence has become one. So that is actually when the heart's fulfillment of the mandaris has taken place, they are locked in each other's embrace. And that's when these beautiful realizations also come to the maidservants. And what I feel because we are now going close to Nityananda's appearance day. And that the Guru Tattva, you know, they are the Dasis for us and they see this locked up embrace and they are giving it. Goranga Mahaprabhu, he, he is a result of that oneness also. When Radha and Mohan become one, they become Gora, Gora Anga, she Goranga. Or she go rangi. And that is actually what 
is the big blessing in our times that we have been given this maha mantra which has the locked up embrace of radha and mohan as its deepest deepest um, contents or how we say realization of course there's unlimited explanations and ways to to glorify the holy name and to glorify radha and mohan's love and mercy for all living entities but here we we hear that this locked up embrace they are locking each other and they are non different from each other this is the um blessing that the the dasis give to us because they see it they uh, not only see it they realize it and in that mood of this great mercy of shrimati radhika and mohan's embrace gorangi came to share this for the whole world to us also through her maid servants wonderful <clears throat> very very wonderful this this importance of the holy name mm. also i would like everyone should now really let this nectar i found some really really wonderful nectar on how we should chant this incredible holy holy name um in uh, radha rasa sutra nidhi 53 i just want to read a few sentences it's purest nectar for our self identification we can chant the maha mantra for years and years and years but if we don't have self identification ego stay bath it will take a very long time so baba i this is one of the best openings in 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 his books for my personal opinion it is in radha rasa sutra nidhi 53 and this this beginning is is so wonderful listen carefully there is one sentence from jiva goswami which will really really blow your mind how fortunate we are baba is writing the 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 it's it's called awakening of the spiritual body so commentary is just a few sentences but the whole the whole thing is there to help us chanting the holy name how sweet it is to think i am radhika's maid servant how tender and delicious is the remembrance of one's own sita swarup our own spiritual body now comes this really astonishing sentence shri machiva goswami said in his bhakti sandarbha 304 astut tavad bhajana prayasha kevala tatrishat vabinan enapi sitir bhavati this is really wonderful even if one does not perform any spiritual practice one has attained perfection simply by considering oneself to belong to god so how fortunate are we we don't only belong to god we belong to his most beloved and baba is taking exactly this point and he is writing the practicing devotee takes the forms qualities and activities of the eternally perfect manjaris nitya sita manjari gana as his example to nourish his self identification of i am an adolescent manjari with such and such qualities service and form i am not this body i am not this mind i am not these senses but i am a transcendental female individual eternally endowed with adolescent beauty this is the this is such an amazing opening paragraph of verse because everything of gaudiya vaishna philosophy is right there everything is right there and if we read this every day for example we know 
how we can, we are allowed and we are, have the mercy to chant the Maha Mantra and we can see for ourselves how many times that the mind is going somewhere. But this is actually what Shiva Goswami is saying. If we feel we belong to our Sampradaya, our Parivara, we already have attained perfection. It is only a matter of time until we realize it. This gives me so much hope. I hope you can feel these beautiful, powerful words of Baba. Jai Sri Rati. Jai Sri Rati. Wunderbar. Das ist, this is so wonderful. I was just having this picture actually when Guru Mantri is taking me fallen soul and offer me to the lotus feet of Radha. I don't understand maybe in this moment what happened, but I'm offered. I'm always this, the, the, the this is the this is the mercy of our beloved Sadhu Maharaj sitting here with us. Without his mercy, nothing will flow. Jai Gurudev, you are so wonderful. Bye. 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 This is the dream team. We sit with Gurudev and we listen to Baba. This is what what more you can have. This is the spiritual dream team. <laughs> this is the highest. We are reading and Gurudev is relishing and feeling. We get this vibration, so we are lucky. <laughs> we also get feelings. <laughs> This is the Maha 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 Prasad which is coming down to us actually. Just have to chew it. Just open the mouth and open the ears. No? <laughs> Drink and chew. <laughs> and it's intoxicating. <laughs> Also, this is the power, again and again, I have to say this, please allow me. This is the power of Satchati and Snikta Sangha. Satchati means we have to be together with like-minded persons and Snikta means loving. So when you know that you are in the association of people who love you and you love them, and we're sitting at the lotus feet of the one who loves every one of us, amazingly so. This is real Sachati Sangha and Snikta. Rupa Goswami is even more focusing on the word Snikta. And we all can be assured that Srila Gurudev loves us to the utmost. Everybody of us, we know that. And this is the great example of Sadhguru. He has this ability to be with everyone at the same time. We can never repay this, not for Baba and not to Gurudev and not to all the other Mahachans. This is their, this is because, this is why they are here. Tiny tie. <laughs> Thank you, Tarun Baba. This is really enlightening and uh, softening the heart and it's giving oh. hope. Mercy. So hope. All mercy giving. I am just drinking your mercy, Gurudev. I am a very selfish person. I, I drink the nectar by looking at your photo and then everything is coming. <laughs> I'm very selfish. <laughs> Srimati's naturally beautiful eyes are slightly reddish 
out of amorous intoxication. Srimati's naturally beautiful eyes are slightly reddish out of amorous intoxication. And the luster that gushes out from her body because she knows that she was able to please her beloved defeats the bride of gold. What a picture. <laughs> I was just thinking, Gauravani, you are the artist. So, gold and red. What an amazing picture. Her eyes are already naturally so beautiful, undescribable, but now they are slightly reddish out of amorous intoxication. Even more beautiful. And the luster that gushes out from her body because she knows that she was able to please her beloved, defeats the bride of gold. <sighs> what is gushing out is Mother Nakya Mahabhav. She was able to serve her beloved make him happy and her happiness about this is gushing out completely selfless love on the highest stage is gushing out it's bursting out of her and this is how sriman mahaprabhu came Out of his body also, this is gushing out, actually. Even tigers will dance in ecstasy. Whoever sees him is dancing in ecstasy. Srimati's unlimited selfless love is gushing out. And of course, it's defeating the bride of gold. Even thousand times molten gold, which is very shiny when gold is molten, it's very shiny. But even that is defeated. And Sripad, he is such a lucky person always holds that indescribable golden light in his illuminated heart. And that is what Tarun Baba was actually also pointing to already. This is what we should do also. Because the heart will be illuminated by this gushing out. This will illuminate our heart. No more sorrow, no more darkness, just the light of this wonderful Madanakya Mahabhav, which is coming as Maha Maha Mahaprasad to Guru Manjuri to us. So take it and place it in the heart and just Leave it there. And how powerful is the evidence of, of this of this nectar? You see? How powerful is the, the love Mahaprabhu came to give? Even Srila Prabhupada Saraswati Thakur, as he is Tunga Vidya in Saki Bhav. So here we have another evidence how powerful Manjari Bhav is, that he himself saw himself as a kinkari. He could have said, yeah, okay, I am a sake. <laughs> but but Manjari Bhav is so much more 
superior to Sakipav that Prabodananda Saraswati Thakur, he himself had himself a Kinka reform and he was completely in Manjari Bhav during this whole book. That is evidence enough what to speak for us. We mm -hmm. have not even, we have no Stai Bhav, so we have to get our Stai Bhav. We have to fix our Stai Bhav and, and develop that. That is so wonderful. Yes, Mahaprabhu is just distributing that kind of love, nothing else. Even Ramananda Roy, why he's called Ramananda Roy? Rama Ananda Roy. Because he was made to that from Mahaprabhu, because of Mahaprabhu's mercy. He was drowned into Mandri bath. His bath before, everybody knows. But he was drowned in Mandri bath. Mahaprabhu didn't care. What bath you have? I don't care. I drown you in Mandri bath. I drown you in the highest bath. <clears throat> this is the mercy. It's undescribable. Unnat Ujjwala Rasa. Just given for free. <clears throat> Wow. That's why it's said that he was blundering the storehouse of Prema, giving it to us. And before it was locked, right? Yes. <coughs> Eli Kunje Jotamana Gorachana Gauri Brema Mai Ramudini Parama Sundari Madaruna Vilocha Madan Mohini Kanakera Darpa Hare Rai Kamalini Mahochwala Premaras Pranaya Maduri Bilaseo Tsukka Sadhana Vina Nagari Nava Vyahashiya Nava Hema Gora Choti Sulalita Bhangi Maya Lila Maya Devi Karunya Vaibhav Murti Satata Smarane Vidaye Bohona Kuri Saraswati Bhane Srimati is shining in the Blay Kunja as Gorujan. Vermilion complexioned girl, Gauri, golden complexioned girl, Prema Mai, a girl full of love, Brahmodini, giver of delight and amusement. And Parama Sundari, the most beautiful girl. Rai Kamalini, lotus like Radha's eyes, are red of amorous intoxication. She enchants Cupid. And she destroys the bride of gold. The love of our Navina Nagari, youthful heroine, is sweetened by the very brilliant flavor of love. And she is always eager 
to enjoy amorous pastimes. This is why she is also called Devi, playful and splendid. Saraswati says, I always keep this opulent, youthful form in my heart and in my mind. Jai Shri Rathe. <coughs> so here ends the wonderful explanation from Baba to verse 195 of Radha Rasa Sudhanidhi. Actually, we also choose that verse because the next verse <laughs> is also not bad. <laughs> so, one hundred ninety six. May that transcendental couple, Radha Krishna, that is colored like molten gold Radha and emerald Krishna, that is as absorbed in always new Rati, mutual attraction, whose eyes twill of amorous intoxication and who became like a bracelet by tightly embracing each other beautiful bodies let that transcendental couple which is most expert in the art of love making be manifest in my heart. So, Suniti, you see, again Mahamantra. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <coughs> The amorous expertise of Radha and Madhava. Commentary Navarati Rasavesha Vivalosat Vivalosat Katram means that the limbs of the divine couple are trilled by amorous rapture, which is ever new, just like the water flowing in a brook. The divine couple's limbs are overwhelmed because they seem to be unable to bear the weight of this amorous rapture. So we can see how tightly, like Suniti was describing, it's so tightly embraced that even the limb seems that they cannot bear this weight, which means so much love is in this embrace. Endless power of love that it seems that the limbs cannot bear this weight of love.
the maidservant is fully absorbed in relishing the unprecedented beauty of this amorous couple. Her heart is also unable to bear the weight of this savour. Prana pranaya paripatyam parataram means that the expertise of their heart's love is unrivaled. Sri Rata is the transformation of Sri Krishna's love. Radha Krishna Pranaya Vikriti says Sri Swarupta Muda. The word Vikriti means the boiled up essence. Just as the boiled up essence of milk is Kshira or Barpi, sweet milk or sweet rice. As a result of this boiling, two bodies grow from the deep lake of one soul, strung together in one heart again. Ek Atmaniya Rasa Purnata Met Yagade Ekashu Shamkratitam Evatanu Tvayam Nau Brema Samputa. Although they are strung together in one heart, Sriman, beautiful Krishna, Ispriya, lover, and Srimati, beautiful Radhika, Ispriya, Beloved, for the sake of relishing transcendental rasa. Rata Krishna Eka Atma Dui Dehadari Anyonye Vilaserasa Aswadana Kori Chaitanya Chavit Amrita Adilila. The great poet Kanapura wrote in Alankara Kashtuba. 5.33 Anyone who says that I am your beloved or you are my beloved is just raving. Alas, anyone who says that you are my life and I am also your very life is speaking nonsense. It is also not nice to say that I am yours and you are mine. O Radhe, all such statements are improper, for they indicate the difference between the two of us. Words like you and me are only an illusion. So this is again the culmination of the verse before, isn't it? We should also know that this last sentence uh, is not open for interpretation <laughs> because <laughs> this is actually this is Krishna speaking in complete ecstasy and of course they are like this wonderful verse of the Chaitanya Charitamrita Baba is quoting Gurudev knows what it means Rata Krishna Eka Atma Duhi Deha Dhari Anyorye Vilasa Rasa Ashvadana Kori 
Radha and Krishna are one soul, and for the sake of pastimes, they appear in two bodies. But this is just in our language. They are all, they are eternally one and eternally different. So we should not take this as an illusion. This is Krishna completely in ecstasy, where they sometimes don't see any difference between those two. Because Radhika sometimes doesn't see any difference between her and Krishna and also Krishna to Radhika. So this is the highest stage of Madanakya Mahabhav in Radhika and for Krishna also. This the boundaries of the two atmas, they, they vanish and they think they are one entity because they are so much overwhelmed by love. But still, next time they meet, they are again meeting for fresh. It's not that they are, the Mayavad interpretation is not getting us here. You, I just wanted to say like that because we can very easily read, oh, you see, everything is an illusion. <laughs> but this is actually Kaustupa, Karnapura. Eroding in the in the perspective of Krishna, who is overwhelmed by this highest, highest ecstasy, where the bodies and the persons are no more there. There is only one love and one one experience between the divine couple. <laughs> Good. If you like to say something to that, to explain it a little further. <laughs> So they don't, they don't feel different because they are a one soul. Mm -hmm. One soul. They know each other very well. And for Leela, they expand themselves, <laughs> like see in the past. But one soul. That is the beautiful percentage. Bed away the tattoo. Yes. Exactly. Also, this line in the beginning is very, very beautiful. Sri Rata is the transformation of Sri Krishna's love. That means she is Ladini Shakti. Here we have this beautiful, beautiful point that she is actually, when you, when we think of our most beautiful moment in this life, and this most beautiful moment in this life will become a person. That is, that is Swamini, the most, the highest pleasure inside Krishna. That is the person of Radhika. This is so beautiful. This is the energy of that uh, Krishna is not capable if there is energy not there to Krishna. Radhika is the energy of Krishna. <laughs> they are one. Who whose embrace is tighter? <laughs> when Krishna embraces Radha or when Radha embraces Krishna? <laughs> Jai Ho. Her embrace is tighter. First, she gets. <laughs> she is more tight. He is always meditating. <laughs> See, every place did they call the Shah. Where she stays, she said, Mahamad. <laughs> 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 they so maybe one day, good day, if you're blessing me, then. This is the spiritual region. <laughs> Wow. 
जैसे रिलाइजेशन Also by these two verses, we can now see that, like Gurudev is always saying, Radharasa Sudhaniti is there to maintain and to nourish our Radhika Ishtanishta in Radhika's lotus feet. And then Vilapakusa Manjali will be our, our teaching manual for, for Manjari Bhav Sadhana. So this is so important that we have this nourishing of Radhika, Radhika Nishta, that we have faith in our Ishtadev. This is That is every verse of Radha Rasa Sudhanidhi is only for that matter to have this faith. And you can see now in the end, it's very interesting. The end of Radha Rasa Sudhanidhi, it's what the mantras prefer also, that the couple is together. The first hundred something is glorification of Swamini. And at the end, Prabhupada Saraswati Thakur is glorifying the mantra's role in bringing the divine couple together. So, so this is our whole main in, main instruction book for for gaining ishtadev for a lotus feet faith in in, in swamini and vilapakusa manjali can help us practice it under the guidance of sadhu guru and vaishnavas can i ask something mm-hmm. there uh, tarun was saying uh, it was so striking that um, Prabhupada Saraswati is actually Saki, but she's always desiring to go in Kinkari Bhav and to serve. But why? As a, she's a girlfriend of Radharani, she has everything. She has position. She no. has <laughs> she has a position. She's you know close Saki. But why she wants to be Manjari Guru? She has a very high position. Because she is a friend, she can do the same thing. Friends can do the same thing mm. what the other friend do. Mm. So if Radhika like Krishna, she has also like, like Krishna, mm. meet with Krishna. Mm. Radhika cannot say no. Mm. Friend has a mm. same position. But there is no no way for her to see Radha Krishna loving exchange. Mm. That there is no way. She can direct love meeting to do Krishna. She can do it. But what Aladani Shakti is giving. Happiness to Krishna, they cannot understand without becoming Dasi of Radhika, Manjari of Radhika. Because they are qualified and confident, so much can believe Radhika that she brings her, her Dasi even in the bedroom. Hmm. Say when I need, I will call. <laughs> She don't bother. No need any privacy for her. If anyone will overexcited, then that time you will have me. So. <laughs> So, confidential gift, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gave to us. Who, anyone say, who can bring any friend to his bedroom also? But the master one, the Manjari Rasmani, they are all so sincere. And so honest to Radhika, so much believe they say, okay, come with me. So this highest stage for the Dasi is there. Friend cannot take this position in the service. 
and they can understand their one soul and two body. My goodness. Beautiful, Gurudev. Thank you so much. So, Gurudev means that even for Krishna, Manjuris are a mysterium. He can understand the Sakis, he understands their position, he can be close to them, but he cannot relate to the Manjuris. No. So, even God, the Supreme, cannot understand the position of Radharani Dasi, so he had to come in the form of Mahaprabhu, yeah. to understand it. Yes, and get the mercy at the Dasi to understand this. Mm -hmm. This is the mercy. <laughs> Without Dasi, we cannot realize it. And with the association of Brasika, who is in the same Sajati, same mode practice, Without sitting and listening, we cannot change it. Mm. We cannot realize it. How tasteful and how much high, highly elevated subject is this. Are Somebody say his potential things of the bedroom. Anyone say? And Radha Rani wants to do this with her manjari. Who can do that? Only Radhani Shakti. Radhika can do if you become Dasi. You want to see Krishna. You know, come in your front, <laughs> right? <laughs> and here in the bedroom, what is his position that you can know that everything? <laughs> but it's not to understand. Huh? It's not for Krishna to understand, it's no. for Krishna to feel. Yeah. If he understood, it would never happen. No. Just like with us. Yes. If we understood love, there would be no love. Mm. We have to feel it. Thank you. What do you What? Yeah, no love. Right. Get the point. Again, say. It's a very, very deep thing you say. No, it's, it's not for Krishna to understand. It's certainly for Radharani to understand. If Krishna understood, there would be no seduction. There would be no meeting. No. And for us, if we understood love, there would be no love without us. No. Yeah. It's because we don't understand. No And we have to, we have to speak to feel yeah. that there's love. Yes. <laughs> And she keep very confidential. That she does not, not know that he is with her. Very confidential. <laughs> and we don't understand. She is us. He is here. So we need. Classic association. Little <laughs> test. If we sit with them, some test will come, some drop will come. <laughs> this way we can collect some drops. <laughs> you see, this is the drop. <clears throat> You're not prepared to say it come out. We're not prepared to this, but we it come out <laughs> because she is sitting in our heart. Because mm -hmm. Sudha so Sattva, we want to go in with the Sattva to live in my Sarupa, we're trying for that.
not happen, but we are trying. Right? The Gurudev, Radhe Radhe. Right. Yeah, but yeah. I I have one question uh, for you, Gurudev. Uh, what I just uh, heard that Prabodhananda Saraswati actually is the gopi, but uh, she or he wants to become Manjari. Uh, maybe something is wrong in is my understanding, but I will like to know how is possible that this right. book is one of the two most important book for us to be situated in the Manjari Bhav. Yeah, that's the beauty. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> we want to become manjari. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Gopi wants to be a manjari bow. My God. Yes. Amazing. Good if I was I was talking about this. With my good friend on this question, uh, with my good friend Advaita Das, who is from the Advaita Acharya lineage and who, who translated Baba's book first of all. And the Manjari Bhav is such a sublime and the sub most superior Bhav. <clears throat> he said that we are Nityananda Parivar and he is Advaita Acharya Parivar. But even for them, Manjari Bhav is so high. He told me in confidence that also for them, Advaita Acharya, he is Vishaka, he is Mahavishnu, but he himself also has a Manjari form who is present in Brindavan. So for those Nitya, Nitya Siddha Parishadas, they are Krishna Tattva even, you know, he's Mahavishnu. So we should not think they are limited to one experience of one Siddha Deha and one Bhav. So they have many, many, and the mercy of Mahaprabhu, there is one theater play from, from Karna Pura, where, where Advaita Acharya is begging Mahaprabhu to give them also forms in Mandri form. So there is no discrepancy that Tunga Vidya is a Saki, but he can also experience King Karipa. For those eternal associates of Mahaprabhu, there is no problem in, in having more, many experiences, like there is multi-layers universe in the spiritual world. We, could, we should not limit even a Jiva, even if a Jiva is liberated, <clears throat> he can have in the Vedanta Sutra, it is said, he can have as many forms as he likes, but why would we bother? Gurudev mm -hmm. always says, why would we bother? We only want one thing. We want to be the Dasi, we want to be Kinkari of Radhika. But Prabodhananda Saraswati and all these eternal associates of Mahaprabhu by his mercy, the answer to your question is only by the mercy of Mahaprabhu, everything is possible. Everything. <laughs> everything. One Tadun Baba, I want to add. Mahaprabhu, he said, Krishna is a subject and Radhika is an object. Mm -hmm. What is the meaning of that? This is Manjari Bhav. Mm. Yes, exactly. So Mahaprabhu is Manjari Bhav and Panchatattva is in Manjari Bhav. Mm. And I recommend everyone has to keep Panchatattva pictures. Yes, beautiful, Kuruda. so beautiful. Manjari Bhav. Mm. After that charge in Manjari Bhav, he said, yeah, you punish me <laughs> to Mahaprabhu. Because I see you, Radhika. They are playing Srivas full life play Narayan Narayan. Today he see by his Manjari Bhav. Yes. To Radhika mm. in Mahaprabhu. Yes. <laughs> Gajadhar, Gajadhar yes. is what is Gajadhar? Radhika. Radhika Sakti. Radha and what is Radha Sakti? Prem is Radha Sakti. Yeah. <laughs> all Majari Bhav. They are all, 
और पंचतत्व इज एन मंजरी भाव इवन द महाप्रभु इज एन मंजरी भाव प्रैक्टिस जय हो गुरुदेव सो वंडरफुल that is unity in diversity that is what makes everything together and still different also kadarta the line of kadarta pandit they also give manjari path no problem no mahaprabhu himself is practicing <laughs> yes that i want to say yes <coughs> i give example of mahaprabhu he is cover <coughs> two bread <laughs> radha two bread mm. one is a feeling and one is covering to mantakiya to the butter in between <laughs> sandwich full of butter food of राधा कृष्ण एक प्राण If I do any mistake, excuse me. Beautiful, Gurudev. So beautiful. Hmm. After eighty, my Gurudev gone. and from 82 83 we are reading this radha rasudanidi and vilaku samandari that time it was not in english it was in bangla mm. by anandas baba ji mm. <clears throat> and i don't know bangla sincerely but by listening and listening I learn Bangla. <laughs> From that time, I'm listening, and when I listen now, it it looks to me that first time I'm listening this, I never listened that. First time, I never listened what I'm listening now. I don't know. <laughs> Right. So, so full of rasa. My one brother Mohan Baba, he twelve of twelve years, he only chant Kama Gayatri. Twelve years. in the forest in the cave and he is listening and i am listening to person when i go barsane he is living we sit and one person is reading <laughs> and he no allow even his other god brothers to come in to not disturbance of feeling bhava <laughs> you want to flow in every verse of the baba yeah you're so merciful we can come and disturb your uh, no we are all flowing in one in one flight the right <laughs> <by the party. laughs> first class <laughs> <laughs> all of you must see the airplane. Wow. Wow. All have a ticket, <laughs> and you are the pilot, <laughs> navigator, <laughs> and navigator, 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 navigator. Turn, Baba. <laughs> Co-pilot. <laughs> no, and yeah. the cook. <laughs> <laughs> 
Laura Sundar. I will help you. <laughs> Hiding Sorry, from me. Controller of the sense. <laughs> no good. All day in kitchen, Gurudev. Oh, I understand. So I noticed, sir, that you have not forget some spices. <laughs> 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 yeah, right. So it's 45 years. How old is Babaji when he's writing? This? He writes 40 years. Ago. Uh, he writes, uh, Prem Bhakti Chandrika, I listened to this class. In 65 or 70. Mm. Um, yeah. I was listening. He was. Uh, you know, today she is standing. I was one month for listening classes. Konsa mm. one dharamsala, Mira Manoranjan dharamsala. He is going there to give class evening time. Mm. Also came here to give. They are also giving, but this class is in Radha Kun Karthik mm. time. Mm. <laughs> Wow. Wow. Right. So when Ananda Sparuchi started to give diction and classes, then he already write the books in the 65s. He, he was the Yes, 65, he was 40 years old. 30. Wow. Mm -hmm. He was very strong. He is come and stay here 15 days. Mm -hmm. Which room? Maharaj was there. Huh? Which room? <laughs> you stay in this room. Mataji, Guru Maharaj. Mm. 43. Oh, wow. Wow. This. Wow. this was only recently, though. <laughs> Still is. Gurudev, by your mercy, so many people here attending had to. I had the chance to see him when he was still here. You, I remember so fondly when we all went there and 20 people went there. You went there so many times. That is That was so nice to see him all together. All bringing full bus mm -hmm. people to show him. Right. Everyone. Today I sent Mahanidhi Swami to see. Uh, we have to see Santini person. Mm -hmm. And at Baba, <laughs> My God, I want to show to everyone. Love Matra Sadhu Sangha Sav Siddhi. Only Siddhi can only five split second. As per the waves of the sadhus can change our life. Mm. Yes. And Baba Association was very deep to me in my life. Very, very close. Yes, sir, Baba knows. He's telling now one day. Uh, Mahanta now, he's telling one day. Good, if there is the video from you, Kalki Show, when you, when you visit Baba, everyone can see. How much love is exchanged between the both of you? This video is so special. Mercy. It's mercy. I'm his servant, small servant. If I can learn some words of him, I am very lucky. Mm -hmm. But I believe not to share my words. I believe only share the words of Baba. Mm -hmm. I like this. The eyes, when I listen, his lines is a song for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to listen to that song. Mm -hmm. Poetry. Poetry. But you need and Advaita. I'm very thankful to Advaita who oh, yes. collect this words mm. to translate with this. Mm. You give my thanks to him. Many times I gave Guru. 
No, my, 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 I, I feel very much good in his translation. I told him many times, Gurudev. He likes you so much. Yeah, no, really, I'm telling you from my heart. Yeah. It's a gift. If uh, Bangla is very good, mm. in, okay, <laughs> but English is also very good. Mm. Bangla is super. <laughs> <laughs> You cannot explain by words this Bangla books of me. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>